Hello everyone and welcome to Free Range Diva where you will find helpful information to enhance your beauty and wellness routines. Hello, I'm Cheryl and I'm here today to talk about one of my favorite subjects. It's that time of year where there's starting to be a nip in the air, temperatures are getting cooler, it's getting cooler at night, the days are getting shorter, and fall is here and winter is approaching. And you can tell because everything is just kind of slowing down. Well, it's this time of year when my mind turns to one of my favorite indulgences, and that is a hot cup of tea. So today I want to talk to you about some of my favorite teas. And uh, also, I have a question for you. So let's jump in. This is my tea box. This is where I keep all my teas. I got this from Amazon. If it's still around, I will link it. But it's bamboo, and then it organizes all your teas like that. So um, I'm going to be talking to you about individual teas. I don't have the boxes, but uh, I will put pictures of the boxes uh, you know, up in here, here, somewhere so that you can see the, see exactly what the box itself looks like. Because I only have the little pouches, you know, these little things now. So first I'm going to talk about each individual tea and then give you just a few quick facts on some of the benefits of that particular tea. Because tea as a whole, it has a lot of health benefits, uh, mostly because antioxidants and things like that that really get into your body and uh, help you feel better. All right. Ow! <laughs> the first tea on this list is probably uh, my favorite. And so we're gonna start with that one. Uh, it's rooibos tea. Also, you might see it um, called red bush tea when you're looking for it, when you're shopping for it. But uh, this is the tea that I could drink three times a day. And my favorite brand is from Numi. They have three types of rooibos uh, that I love. They have this, just the straight rooibos tea, the chai rooibos tea, and if you can find it, because it's really hard to find, the chocolate rooibos tea. And um, funnily enough, I just bought three boxes. I found three boxes on Amazon, so I just ordered them. Uh, because I can't find it locally, and I, it is, oh, it's so good. It combines chocolate and rooibos. And if you've never tasted this, it has a very sweet, earthy and refreshing flavor. I never, you never need, at least I don't have to add any kind of sugar or sweetener. This is just great straight. It's caffeine free and the antioxidants in here can help lower cholesterol, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure. However, you have to drink a lot. Uh, studies that have been done consume something like six cups a day of this stuff, but you know, one cup is fine, two, maybe three, um, just to give you sort of the, the, uh, the, the minimum of those antioxidant benefits. So rooibos tea number one. Next is going to be from Organic India. This is Tulsi tea. Tulsi, T-U-L-S-I is the type of tea. This is also known as holy basil. Uh, and this, the Tulsi uh, is consumed widely in India. And so I have two. I have this one. This is the, they make a whole bunch of different flavors of Tulsi, but they have, this one is the sweet rose. And I also have this one, which is called the Tulsi sleep. Uh, when you think of Tulsi tea, think of calming, relaxing, sleeping. This can help the antioxidants in here can help to reduce stress and anxiety. It helps to balance serotonin and dopamine levels in the brain. Those are the feel-good uh, chemicals in the brain. And this is very vitamin K rich. Um, this, the sweet rose, has a very mild, um, just a hint of kind of a rosy note to it. Um, slight sweet note. This one, the Tulsi Sleep, 
This is actually a formula, a combination um, that has chamomile, cardamom, peppermint, ashwagandha, goji cola, uh, and this has a much more herbal, stronger flavor to me. Um, actually, I find I sleep better with just the, the straight rose, maybe because it's so mild, the flavor is so mild in this. But yeah, if you need more sleep, this has more things in it that can contribute to a good night's sleep. And both of these are, I should say, both everything I'm gonna show you today is caffeine free uh, because I don't do caffeine. So uh, just be aware that um, no matter what I'm talking about, even if it's like a, something I want first thing in the morning, it's still going to be caffeine free. And that brings me to uh, this uh, Earl, decaffeinated Earl Grey. This Earl Grey is a classic, obviously classic t uh, black tea that also blends uh, something called bergamot which is uh, an Italian citrus plant. So not only does it have black tea, but it has kind of um, a, a, a citrus, but a more tangy, not a sweet citrus. It's definitely much more of a, of a you know, kind of a lime-ish uh, citrus note to it. Multiple studies have been done on this bergamot citrus and they have all found that it can lower your LDL cholesterol as well as your total cholesterol. That's consuming maybe three cups a day, which is pretty easy to do, which is why, because this is decaffeinated. And of course, the black tea here has similar benefits to green tea. So uh, if you want to get the benefits of the bergamot, look for something like an Earl Grey, or there's a lot of bergamot just bergamot teas on the market, but it's much easier to get it this way. The next one may be a little bit out in left field, but this is, uh, I just wanted to mention this because, you know, it'll be warm. Today, it's mm, upper 70s. Yesterday, it was in the 60s, it was raining. Tomorrow, it's gonna be raining again. So, and then following like three days of rain, it's going back up into the 80s. So, the weather's all over the place, and today it's, you know, it, it, this might be a day where I want something cold, a cold tea. And that's what this is. This is Bigelow Botanicals Cold Water Infusion. This is the watermelon cucumber mint flavor, and that's how this works. You take this and you put it in a glass of cold water, I think 8, 10 ounces, something like that, or maybe 12. Anyway, uh, a glass of cold water, a large glass of cold water, and you let this sit for about eight minutes or longer, but at least eight minutes, and you have your cold water infused tea. This is very refreshing. I don't particularly find this very watermelon-y, but it does taste good. It just tastes very light, sweet, refreshing. Uh, so if you happen to see from Bigelow Botanicals, let me just tell you what's in here real fast. Uh, it's got chamomile, hibiscus, rooibos, a little bit of ashwagandha, natural watermelon, and cake, cu cucumber flavors. <laughs> Can't read my own writing. Uh, natural watermelon and cucumber flavors. Um, so I think the, it's the hibiscus that gives it that, that note, that first note that you get. If you've ever had hibiscus tea, you'll know what I mean. But yeah, look for uh, Bigelow Botanicals cold water infusion for those days when you don't want something hot, but you want something cold and refreshing. Listen, around here, we've had heat waves in February, so you just never know. Next up is one of my favorite favorites. In fact, this is my last one. I just ordered another box. This is dandelion tea. Dandelion tea you can get in a ton of different flavors, uh, but this one is the caramel nut flavor from Ticino. This tastes like a caramel, especially if you put like half and half in here, it tastes like a caramel latte. It is so good, so sweet, and there's no sugar, but it's still very Sweet, it has a sweet flavor. Um, let me just make sure that there's no sugar in here. Hold it, hold on. Yeah, okay, there's dates 
and figs. So that's where you're getting, there's also carob in here. So that's kind of your, your flavor profile. The chicory, there's chicory in here, which also makes it taste a little more like coffee. But um, the combination is out of this world, especially if, again, no caffeine. So if you're, you don't want to do caffeine, you know, like coffee in the evening, like with your dinner, but you still want that co rich coffee flavor. Oh, this is so good. It's so good. So dandelion root is, we consider it a common weed, but you can consume it. You can consume the entire plant. Uh, and it's got a lot of minerals, including calcium, potassium, magnesium, and iron. It's also got a lot of beta carotene in it, which is a source, a natural source of vitamin A. People, uh, when they think of dandelion, of consuming dandelion root or dandelion leaves, it's usually for a form of detox, like it's a good liver detox. Uh, additionally, there's a lot of vitamin C in here, so this is also good for colds. I mean, you don't have, like I said, dandelion tea comes in just straight dandelion tea leaves and nothing else. In fact, if you have uh, dandelion, you know, growing in your yard or something, you can uh, infuse the leaves and make your own homemade tea. Uh, you can use the greens in um, like salads or uh, cooked dishes. And uh, it's, it's just one of those miracles. I mean, we, you know, like you dismiss it because you think it's a common weed, but it is a huge, powerful source of nutrition. So look for dandelion root. Ticino makes several flavors, not just this one, um, that don't have figs and dates in it, in them. Uh, in fact, I'm going to try one. I'm going to try just the straight dandelion to see if I like it as much as I like this. I also want to give a quick shout out to chamomile tea because uh, it's, again, it's a culinary herb, something that we can grow in our backyards. You might all, you might have it growing in your backyard. You can steep the leaves and make a tea. And people like this not only for its mild flavor, but because it's, it, uh, causes you to relax. It's very relaxing. You get better sleep. There's antioxidants and flavonoids in here that not only lower stress levels, but they can also calm an upset tummy if you've eaten something you shouldn't have. So this is just basically store-bought. This is like Sprouts brand chamomile tea, nothing fancy. But again, when you just want something soothing, and at the end, especially at the end of the day, uh, this is really good especially if you don't want if you don't like strong tea flavors this flavor here is really very mild and then last but certainly not least and i don't have a whole lot to say about this but this is smooth move from traditional medicinals you all know what this is you all know what it does it's been around for generations senna leaf is the primary ingredient and it relaxes the, your digestive tract so that you have a smooth move. And then uh, finally is a request to you guys. I cannot, I haven't found a green tea formulated uh, that I can, that I like. Um, I don't know, usually they're too grassy or too strong, the ones that I've tried. So if you know of a very mild uh, green tea on the market that is also decaffeinated, uh, then let me know. Or just put down your favorite de uh, green tea brands, and if I haven't tried them, I will. So uh, yeah, if, if you're in the mood to write in the comments, let me know what teas you like. What are some of your favorite teas, brands or types, either one. I love them all. Uh, so that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up. Thank you so much everyone for watching today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and maybe consider subscribing so that you won't miss a thing here at Free Range Diva. So until I see you in my next video, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful day, wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.